What makes me amused, if it weren't so sad, is how you all think that you know more about the suffering of the American people than those of us who are elected by them to represent them at that table. All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here checking out. So we're sitting in our home away from home. And I got a call last night from my wife telling me to go check out what Roy Cooper, the governor of North Carolina, is getting ready to do. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I sit back and I think about this, is that we, the people, are getting sick and tired. We're getting sick and tired of these people up in their mansions, surrounded by people with guns, taking our rights away. And that's exactly what they're getting ready to do. Uh, they are setting curfews. They're saying you can't be in a location that consumes alcohol past 9 o'clock, and, and that's in North Carolina, or purchase alcohol after 9 o'clock. I didn't realize that that was one of the, the byproducts of uh, the COVID-19 deal is that uh, if you buy alcohol after 9 o'clock, well, by God. And what they're trying to do by doing this, and this is what he said in his speech, is they're trying to uh, prevent people from gathering in their homes. For the love of God, God, is this where we are these days, ladies and gentlemen, and that we the people are getting sick and tired? You're going to hear me say that throughout this entire video. Yeah, we the people are getting sick and tired. As a restaurateur, say to a guy up there in Staten Island who has un, uh, what do you call it, undercover cops coming in or plain, plain clothes cops coming in into his facility and trying to shut him down. A gentleman who's just trying to earn a living, to save his business, to save his home, same as life. Yeah, we the people are getting sick and tired of this shit. But you know what? You got people in Portland could sit there and set up an autonomous zone and they're kicking the shit out of the cops, screaming and hollering at them, throwing rocks, and the cops are leaving them alone. But you let one guy, one person, stay open in a restaurant and boy, oh boy, we the people are getting sick and tired. And this is the shit that's getting out of hand. Now, do you remember only four years ago, we had Hollywood. Oh, my God. Now they've been declared by Gavin Newsom as uh, an essential business. I don't know where or when uh, Gavin Newsom or how they can sit there and say that Hollywood is an essential business. Other than, one, they need to tax money. Two, they just need to make their little actors happy because if they don't, well, they'll make a video like this. You remember four years ago? Watch this. Republican members of the Electoral College, this message is for you. As you know, our founding fathers built the Electoral College to safeguard the American people from the dangers of a demagogue. The Electoral College was created specifically to prevent an unfit candidate from becoming president. And just 36 other conscientious Republican electors could make a difference. By voting your conscience on December 19th. As you know, the Constitution gives electors the right to vote for any eligible person. Any eligible person, no matter which party they belong to. Yeah, those are the little whiny-ass little babies sitting there trying to convince the Electoral College to vote with their heart and against the people. And when other people just like that, like these governors, like these individuals down there in Atlanta, in Philadelphia, who are stealing an election away from us, they don't care about 75 million people in this country. They just care about getting all their welfare nanny state stuff, taking away your guns, taking away my guns. Ladies and gentlemen, we the people, we're getting sick and tired. And this guy up there who could be sworn in on January 20th, sitting there saying that Trump does not have a plan. Guys, he's been doing exactly what the scientists have been saying to do. But uh, on the opposite effect is that he had the realization that he has to keep a country afloat. People have to have the ability to feed themselves, to feed their families, to pay their bills, their mortgages. The government can't, well, they can't pay the bills for you. Oh, but wait a minute, Nancy Pelosi can sit there and play grab ass with a relief bill until the new president has been elected. Oh, but it's okay. Now she can come back with half of it. Ladies and gentlemen, don't you understand that the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, they don't care about you as much as they care about kicking someone out of office and staying in power because they cannot stand to not be in power. We the people are getting sick and tired of this. Absolutely. If you support Biden, and you're in a movie, and you have a firearm in your hand, you're a hypocrite. Of course, they're all hypocrites. These governors who are sitting there calling to shut down businesses, giving us curfews. Guys, when did our constitutional rights stop? 
not on these mandates, not just to save a life. We need to learn to get around it. We need to learn to keep and protect our elderly. They're trying to keep us from gathering in our own homes now. This shit's got to stop. We need to learn to live around it and maneuver through it and succeed. This virus, it's not going away anytime soon, ladies and gentlemen. And they're not going to have a vaccine that's available to the general public till June of next year. So what are we going to do? We're going to shut it down. And if you're in support of this kind of thing, I pity you. Because the rest of us are getting sick and tired. We, the people, are getting sick and tired. And I pity the individuals who think it's okay to sit here and do this. Now, that might piss some people off because I do know some people who know other individuals who have died from this thing. But unfortunately, what are we going to do? Shut down our entire world, our entire country, until this whole thing is resolved? And we're going to be waiting a very long time because that's where the government, these assholes, want you. They want you under their umbrella, under their thumb. Right there. That's where they want you. I get so emotional when I do this kind of stuff because I'm going to tell you something. The individuals up there in Portland can do Portlandia and have their autonomous zone. But a poor guy up here in Staten Island is getting raided by plain co clothes sheriff deputies out of New York. And this is where I go back to one of those things. LEOs, are you going to support the Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers? Or are you going to pull a stupid bullshit where you're going and raiding somebody's business because they're just trying to feed their family? They're going to make life illegal now? Is that what they're going to do? I'm fed up with it. I know you are as well. Every time we turn a corner, the rules are going to get tighter. The mandates are going to get worse. And next thing you know, we're all going to be sitting around trying to figure out how to keep our cars, our car payments made, our mortgage payments made. It's sick. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, guys. I've been pretty quiet about this whole thing. We're going to be jumping on this election deal pretty soon. But I will be honest with you, this whole situation, it's not going away. And we have to learn to overcome it through logic and not sit there and listen to some doctor who says one thing this month and another thing the next month. Kids can't go to school. Now they can go to school. Outdoor dining, no outdoor dining. I look at this young lady who's sitting over here as a waitress. She's going home. She's a single mom. She's got to feed her family. And Nancy Pelosi wants to play grab ass with her ability to do that, which is BS. Whew. I always end them like this. There's no different this time. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform. And you know who I'm talking to. Because if you'll sit there and you raid a restaurant, you'll sure to shit sit up on a doorstep trying to confiscate my gun. Sad. Absolutely sad. And I'm pissed. Be like those sheriffs out in California who refuse to enforce an unconstitutional law. If somebody's willing to take the risk to go out and have a beer, let them have that risk. Anyway, you've got a Hollywood production studio over here setting up a damn outdoor dining for their actors because they're essential. And then you're shutting this lady's restaurant down. Why don't you do something like this, Gavin Newsom? Why don't you hire that lady to feed those individuals? That way you're keeping people in business. Oh, but you can't do that because they don't. she doesn't give you money like the people in Hollywood do. Because it's all about the money with you, you jackass. <sighs> this is my little rant. If you agree with me, let me know. If you disagree with me, let me know the reasons why. But ladies and gentlemen, this ain't going away for any time soon. We've done the shutdown. It didn't work. We came back. It didn't work. And, but guess what did happen? That disease, that virus is still here. And they want you to take a, a vaccination. Mandatory. You watch. It'll be. You'll have to carry a card around. It's absolute BS. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. As you know, there are Americans uh, who are being evicted from their homes. They can't pay the rent. Many Americans are waiting in food lines for the first time in their lives. Uh, can you look them in the eye, Madam Speaker, and explain why you don't want to accept the president's latest stimulus offer? We represent these people. Uh, I have, for over 30 years, represented my constituents. 
Uh, I know what their needs are. I listen. But they really need the money right now. Just because the president wants to put a, a check with his name on it in the mail. But there are millions of Americans who have lost their jobs. They can't pay the rent. Their kids need the food. That's right. And that's what we're trying to get done. $1.8 trillion. And the president just tweeted, stimulus, go big or go home. He wants even more that's right. right now. So why that's not right. Why not work on that's a deal right. with him? And don't let the perfect, as they say here in Washington, be the enemy of the good. Honest to God, you really, uh, I can't get over it. What makes me amused, if it weren't so sad, is how you all think that you know more about the suffering of the American people than those of us who are elected by them to represent them at that table. You wrote a letter to House Democrats and you said this. Let yeah. me read a line from the letter uh, you wrote. The president only wants his name on a check to go out before Election Day and for the market to go up. Is that what this is all about? Uh, not allow the president to take credit if there's a deal that no, will help millions of Americans? No, I don't care about Americans? that. With all due respect, with all due respect, and you know we've known each other a long time, you really don't know what you're talking about. 